Viewers should consult a professional before adopting any of the training techniques in this program. Any activity you do with your dog is at your own risk and may produce varied results. Tonight on Caesar 911. This is a true 911 call. A Greyhound lab mix whose constant barking and unpredictable aggression disturb this grandma's peaceful home. She drives me crazy. If Izzy really bit someone, I'm afraid she'd have to be put down. I just don't know what I would do for it. Is this dog to blame? <laughs> or is the other dog in the house the secret instigator? You are the worst, Dodger. You're not scaring Grandma, but he's scaring the whole entire world. And then, a dog-friendly community. It's known as Dogtown, USA. With one outcast dog. Has she ever bitten anybody? Yes, the dog has bitten a couple of neighbor dogs. Can Caesar help this German Shepherd join the fun? Welcome to Dogtown. My heart is racing, and I have no idea if I'm going to be able to walk her past all these dogs. This is Caesar 911. I got a call from a family who are living like prisoners in their own home. Their dog is running the house. This is a true 911 call. Good morning. Hello. Buenos dias. Hey. <laughs> Aurora. Sí, Aurora. Nice to meet you, Genevieve. Genevieve, yes. <laughs> so how can I help you, ladies? Well, we have a problem, problem with this. But normally that's when people call. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin Yolanda's dog, Izzy, becomes very aggressive every time you come near Yolanda's bedroom. <laughs> Her teeth will, you know, go up really aggressive and come at you. It's scary because I don't know if she's going to jump at me or not, and it's, it's creepy. Even though we had dogs here, the other dogs didn't bark. It, it, Izzy, that's all she does. She drives me crazy with that barking. Especially when I'm trying to watch my soaps at night, the telenovelas, and I can't hear. She'll run around the table, and then she'll run to this door. I have never, ever come across a dog like her. Yolanda and I used to be close. I used to hang out with her all the time. But after she got Izzy, I kind of immediately stopped coming over. She was so aggressive. I, I don't feel comfortable having people come over because if she has never seen them or doesn't know them, mm -hmm. she'll go at them. More suspicious. If you open the door, she'll come out and, and bite you and bite you and say, you know, you get out of here. You? She did once. <laughs> I'm scared for my aunt. She's getting elderly and if she gets bitten again, it's pretty scary to think about. Recently, Izzy bit me also. I came over just to visit and Izzy said hello to me, like nothing, like, oh, hi, Izzy, you know, and then she just snapped. When she started to walk towards the back by Yoli's room, that's when she came out and bit her <laughs> horribly. It really scared me because yeah. she was just fine with me a second ago. Izzy's always barked at me and always been aggressive, but she's never snapped at me. And when she did, it was like, whoa. So once you go by Yolanda's bedroom or once you go towards that way in general, the dog just gets aggressive. And That's scary. It's, it's scary. How long have you been living with this problem? Three or four years. Huh. She'll stay home with Izzy because she can't take Izzy out. If she takes Izzy to the dog park, she'll attack all the other dogs. Because Yolanda loves Izzy so much. Like, like, too much. That's her child. So to just think that she's having this issue, it's like, it's really changing Yolanda. It really is. Yeah. And it, it, you can sense that she has 
some like a way to our children. Yeah, for sure. I'm hoping Caesar can help Izzy in any way that he can. Izzy's basically a part of our family. She's my cousin's dog. That's my cousin's baby. You know, they're like our kids. But if Izzy really bit someone really aggressive, I'm afraid she'd have to be put down. I just don't know what I would do for it. <laughs> So where can we see this dog? Uh, Yolanda's in the room right now, and then, you know, I go by and... I will. Okay, and... Uh, Is that okay I, for, for sure, you? Sure, fine. Should I give you a blessing? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm staying outside. I'm going to see you on Mexicana. I'm going to practice my Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Get, get way of saying, Joe, Yolanda, I'm here. It's a sneezer. Yolanda. Yeah. This is Caesar, Caesar Milan. Oh my goodness. Come on to play. I, Just open the door. I want to see what's 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 the you, deal with this. Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Yolanda, and I have a seven-year-old black lab greyhound mix named Izzy who attacks anybody who comes near my room. She wasn't always like this when I first got her. She was cute, playful, and she just captured my heart. When no one else is around, Izzy adores me. She loves me. She gives me kisses. And she'll go up to me and nudge my arm, and she's like my child. And I love her so much. Having dogs in my life makes me happy because I just love when I get home and they're just wagging their tail, they're so excited to see me. I could get mad at them and 10 minutes later they've forgotten about it and they love me just as much. It's just kind of better than a human. The aggression with Izzy started right after I got my second dog, Dodger. He's a Dotson, and that was about four years ago. When I introduced Dodger to Izzy, they got along right away. She didn't show any aggression. But then, after a couple months, I noticed that anybody that entered into my hallway, which leads to my room, she would attack. She would charge out of my room if she heard anything, and she would just start barking. Izzy is like an evil hall monitor. If you don't have a hall pass to go get through the hallway, then she's not going to let you get in. She's going to attack you and let you know about it. I live with my grandmother. This is my grandmother's house. Izzy's creating a very on edge, fearful life. She's already charged at my grandmother a couple of times, and she's not happy with it, and I'm not happy with it. She won't come in my room. Whatever she needs to tell me, she'll tell me at the doorway. She has to be real cautious when she walks through the hallway, and I don't want her feeling like that in her own house. I am desperate for Caesar to help Izzy because I feel like it's gone too far, it's lasted too long. I wouldn't even know where to begin to fix Izzy's aggression. I do feel I'm one bite away from serious decision making. And uh, if that time ever comes, which I hope it doesn't, I don't know what, I'll, what to do. So that's the girl, right? Yes, this is Izzy. Izzy. How are, you, how are you feeling right now? I'm nervous. And why? Because usually when anybody tries to approach, she will charge after them. So like ferociously attack them. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. That's when you stop it right there. Shh. Nope. No. This dog is so terrified. This is a classic thing when it, when you hear a dog barking, but it's not going to bite unless you run. As long as I behave calm or I just stay in my grounds, uh, nobody's going to get hurt.
Yes. Uh, face me, she like, like we're about to dance, yeah. Okay. Like that, so. so that means you're welcoming me, mm -hmm. right? There mm -hmm. you go. By using more confident body language, Yolanda can send a message to Easy that there is no reason to worry about a guest or a family member coming into the bedroom. So we broke it down, mm -hmm. phase one, distance, okay. hey Yolanda, mm -hmm. you know, my rocky one, <laughs> and then came forward, right, uh -huh. then I let her know that that growl towards me, unnecessary, not afraid of. Right. But right. Unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. So then you went from this, that's much more sassy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Versus this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everything counts, everything matters. However you're behaving, however you are thinking, mm -hmm. she's insecure. So she's insecure and you are fearful. So you are deeper into the hole. How is she now? She, like. Oh, look at the eyes. Because you haven't put any attention to it, you've put any attention to me, mm -hmm. so I'm redirecting. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm like completely like telling you to forget about it without telling you to forget about it. Right. So you're becoming interested about our conversation. Mm -hmm. When you focus too much on a dog like Easy, she's going to get more anxious. But changing that focus to me, send the message, everything's okay. You don't need to be on guard. Now I want to see if Yolanda and Easy can stay calm when someone else comes in. Do you guys want to come in? Yeah, come in. Bring the camera a little closer. Caesar is working with an insecure territorial dog named Izzy. Hey, bring the camera a little closer. As he asks his cameraman to enter Izzy's personal space, she attacks. Hey. Hey. So here. You go. Come on. Hey. Don't let him come into your space. So go to her? That's right. We okay. move into it. Hey, block her. Hey, come on. And so you say, these people are my friends, so what I want you to do is give me space and deal with them. When strangers approach, Jolanda's energy and body language needs to show her dog that everything is okay, don't be afraid. I'm going to teach Jolanda how to use a simple slip leash to snap easy out of that insecure mindset and prevent her from attacking. Now let's do the, the camera again. Listen. Hey, we're gonna stop her. Let's do it again. Hey, she, she's backing down. You see it? Mm hmm. Go around. Yeah. This way? She's, yeah. She's hiding behind you. So now I can give, so you can see it. No tension, short, not tense. There you go. See it? Mm -hmm. By correcting with the leash, the moment Easy starts to attack, I'm snapping her mind out of her territorial state. I'm also staying calm, which tells Easy there is nothing to fear. Yolanda needs to learn to do both of these things. So right now you're saying, things are coming to you, mm -hmm. if I'm allowing it, they're not going to hurt you. Okay. So what you're saying, trust my leadership. So that means the dog can move on. Right. All right, ready to do this? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There you go, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Then you bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. There, that's right. Do it again. That's it. Nice. That's really good, bring it back. Nice. So now, the next step is that eventually you don't need the leash. It's just a voice, your energy, or your body language. Now you're gonna put it on the bed. <laughs> now I'm gonna have Yolanda use this technique to control easy when people knock on her bedroom door and walk in. Be comfortable, but be in control, not hyper alert, but just aware. Okay. There you go. Settle down, hey. Sit. There you go, relax. There you go, relax. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you get stuck, you get yes. stuck. There you go, beautiful, beautiful, that's right. You see how quickly easy calm down as soon as Yolanda relaxed. I won't always be there to remind her. So she just needs to keep working on that. All right. <laughs> you did great, you did great. Today I learned a lot. Caesar gave me hope but I know we're far from a new Izzy. This is just the beginning, and I want to see more improvement. Living in the moment. Breathe. <laughs> a few days later, Caesar invites Yolanda to bring both her dogs to work on Izzy's issues at the dog park. Okay. What? Did you Hi. just... That's really good. I want to introduce Izzy to members of my pack. And I'm especially interested to see how Yolanda acts during that. Things that we don't want, mm -hmm. so we don't focus on, mm -hmm. is to be nervous, fearful, if she bites a dog. Okay. okay? We don't want that, right. but let's don't focus on that. Okay. Now, I've been avoiding taking Izzy and Dodger to the dog park for the simple fact that there's aggression involved. Every time I did take them, Izzy went and attacked, and there was some dog fights. So here we're creating a visual, but uh, almost like a barrier, mm -hmm. all right? You own all that space. Okay, this is my space. And your job is not to let him pass. This exercise is to help Jolanda claim personal space around EC and Dodger and control their aggression no matter where they are, including off-leash at a dog park. No. 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 More like snap him out of it, and then he have to do this. Okay. He have to retreat. Yeah. Okay. And nope. then they have to there like that. See, she is abandoning the idea of coming in. Okay. Once we bring a dog into the picture, you might hear more growl. You might hear more charging. Okay. Caesar has his associate bring one of his smaller dogs over. But it's Dodger who reacts to him. There is definitely more to the story. And it looks like Easy isn't the only problem. Dodger is being the territorial one. Let me have uh, the wolf. Now I want to see how they react when I bring a bigger dog into the mix. Let it go, let it go, let it go. So far, so good. Caesar is working with Yolanda's aggressive dogs at the DPC. When he introduces his dog, Aya, Dodger instigates Izzy to attack. <laughs> It was Easy who attacked, but it was Dodger that picked the fight. See, he is setting her up. Yeah. By doing that, she went, ooh. She had to back him up. It was him that triggered? Yep. This is a huge eye opener. Before Dodger came over, Easy was calm with the right amount of curiosity. <laughs> then Dodger started barking, and it triggered Easy to attack. <laughs> Before Dodger went and instigate, she's more in the exploring. Right. It's Dodger that's It's focused. Dodger that is being the territorial one. Right. What started as a hallway problem with Izzy has turned into problems with Izzy and Dodger. And I did not see this coming. And you are the worst, Dodger. Nobody talk about you because you're not scaring Grandma, but he's scaring the whole entire world. So both of them coming from a nervous point of view. It's just Dodger does dogs and she does humans. Hopefully you understand I the do. philosophy you're, we're looking for to follow. I'm gonna send Yolanda home to practice being a calm, confident leader for both of her dogs. And the best way to establish herself as a leader is to take him for a walk. You need now like practice, 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 practice. Just throw me in there. Throw you in there. All right. It's a lot of pressure on me. Caesar has shown me and explained to me a lot of what I could be doing. I could be more confident and 
and I'm hoping to get both of my dogs under control so one day we can go back to the dog park. So see you in a couple of days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. After practicing leading Dodger and Izzy on walks for a few days, Yolanda returns to the DPC to demonstrate her progress. Hi. Good morning. Today I'm hoping to see Yolanda handle Izzy and Dodger in a dog park setting. If she can do that, she won't have to avoid dog parks like she has in the past. So one thing you can do in mm -hmm. situations like this, you can tie one down. You can always bring a clip and you go in it. A good technique to use if you're taking two inches dog to the dog park is to bring one in first while leaving the other behind. By allowing Dodger to get used to the environment first, I'm hoping he won't trigger Easy's nervousness when I bring her in. You introduce, you can walk around. Okay. Then you come back and you pick her up. Nice. Make her sit down. There you go. Drop the leash. So what you're saying right now is become submissive here. Okay. And then we can continue. And then you can just go. Ahead. Now we're gonna put a little excitement to see if that can trigger it. Okay. Come on, guys. Jolanda calmly introduced her dogs into the pack. But since there's a lot of energy and chaos at dog parks, I want to see if Jolanda is able to control both Dodger and Easy when they are in a more excited state. There he goes, there he goes. No, beautiful, beautiful. There he goes. Go, go for it, go for it, go for it. Touch, touch. There he goes. Sit. Nice. There you go. Him. Yes, sir. What they learn with this is they learn that when dogs are behaving this way, they can't join in an aggressive frame of mind. Right. They have to wait till they're in the same frame of mind to join. That's right. Right. Okay. So that is a successful day. Okay. Today was great practice for Jolanda's final test. When Easy goes back home to face Grandma in the hallway. I want to come back to your house and definitely tackle the bedroom. Now that I work with Caesar, I have learned how to correct my dogs in a calm, assertive way. I feel really confident in myself in controlling Izzy, and I'm just ready to end these problems. Just keep practicing. The repetitions, come on. Repetitions, repetitions, repetitions. In a week's time, Caesar will return to Yolanda's house to see if Grandma can be safe around Izzy. Caesar's next call comes from Sandy, a doggy daycare owner who is concerned her friend's unruly dog is making her an outcast in her own town. I'm really excited because I am in Sierra Madre. It's known as Dogtown USA, one of the most friendliest dog town in the country. But unfortunately, they have a dog that is not fitting that profile of friendliness. And that's what I'm going to go and help. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Caesar. How are you? Welcome to Sierra Madre. Yeah. Let's go over here. Come on. Have a chat. Thanks for inviting me to your beautiful town. So how can I help you? I have a client and a personal friend, Marianne, who has a dog named Bear, and she has become so aggressive with other dogs. When Marianne's walking her dog, Bear just growls and barks at other dogs. You see her lip go up, and you know to get your dog away from her. So it's not like she's not warning you. You know it's coming. And Marianne is strong, but Bear, she's pretty relentless. See, Madre, I don't know, it's such a little hidden treasure up here, and obviously very, very dog-friendly. 
You see dogs everywhere you walk. Mm -hmm. The average person has at least one or two dogs in our town. But the talk in the town is that Marion has this dog and she can't bring it around town. It's a small town. Yeah. I feel bad for her. She can't do the things that she wants to do, exercising, hiking, even now walking her dog. Another thing is we have a daycare and boarding and I've had to turn her dog away. Right. Because we're a cage-free doggy daycare. And what's the point of her bringing the dog here? Has she ever bitten anybody? Yes, the dog has bitten a couple of neighbor dogs. This is serious. If you don't stop it at that time, they take it as a, a winning moment. Well, I would just like to have her be able to walk the dog through town and people not talk behind her back about how crazy this dog is. It's kind of the reputation she has yeah. right now. I'm excited to meet your friend and, of course, Bear. Where can we see it? Right now. Mm -hmm. She's probably starting her walk with Bear. Let's go. Show me your town. Okay, let's go. As Marianne walks Bear by her neighbor's dogs, Caesar and Sandy watch from inside his car. Does him? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Caesar was called by Sandy to help with her friend Marianne's dog, Bear, whose aggression towards other animals has turned Marianne into an outcast in her dog-friendly town. Does him? Yeah. No. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. No. It's a little too close. Let's help her. Ready? <laughs> Stop. I think we can teach you a little better. Oh how are you? How are you? It's Caesar! Shh. Yes? I'm walking bare, and I turned around, and Caesar was standing there. I was stunned. Oh. You are strong. That's a good I news. I am strong, yeah. but not strong enough for her. My name is Mary Ann. I have a three-year-old shepherd mix named Bear who's extremely dog aggressive. Bear was in front of a grocery store on a Sunday night and she was so sweet and cute and the woman that had her said they were looking for a home for her. So I brought her home. Bear was a little rambunctious, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Everything was good. And then about a year ago, she was out in the front yard. A friend was walking his dog, Palomo, by our house. And Bear lunged over the wall and grabbed Palomo by the ear and tore Palomo's ear. I mean, it was awful. I was in tears. I couldn't believe that I had a dog that did that. We live in Sierra Madre, and it's a small little town up against the foothills, completely dog friendly. The shop owners put out bowls of biscuits and water bowls. People are always up on the trails with their dogs, and people go everywhere with their dogs here. And they have all these different dog events. For example, at the end of the month, the town's having a big dog show and I would love to take Bear, but you know, I can't. Every day we walk Bear down the street by the fence with the German Shepherd behind it, and it's a problem every day. Bear completely comes unglued. Bear, come on. Hey. When I take Bear into town to try to get a cup of coffee, she lunges at other dogs. She starts barking like she's gonna rip somebody's head off. You know, people are looking at me, people are looking at her, and it's hard for me. Come on, in. I'm afraid that Bear will either do significant damage on another dog or perhaps even worse, bite a person. Because then I probably end up losing Bear. I don't even want to think about it. So I hope Caesar can teach me what I need to do to help Bear. Because she's staying. She's our family. All right. So give me.
All right, I'll do it. I do it. Okay. So you stay right there. Marianne doesn't know how to properly walk her dog. So that's the first thing I need to show her. So here, we're walking, knowing that this is a German Shepherd here, that's for sure. Right there. So we don't want, we want to block that dog creating any kind of attraction. So it's more pay attention to me than pay attention to environment. No yeah. tension on the leash unless it's required. Okay. So 99% of the time, the leash should be short, not tense. Okay. No tension on the leash, no anticipation of bad behavior. Pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. Right? So the biggest problem is not aggression. The aggression is a symptom, not a problem. Right. So in your case, it's, it's pure excitement combined with the anxiety that you have because past experiences. Right. So those two combined, it creates a bomb. Bear isn't aggressive. She's just nervous and excited because that's the energy Marianne is pouring out. She needs to do a better job of projecting calm, confident leadership. And that needs to happen before they even leave the home. It's from the minute we walk out the door, she immediately gets amped up. And yeah. then I try not to, but... Probably you don't take enough time at the door before you make the second step or the third step or the fourth step. So we keep dogs in a very excited right. state because we believe that excitement means affection. Every day we get ready to go for a walk. It's the same thing. Bear, you want to go for a walk? And Caesar pointed out that's the wrong way to go about it because I'm already hyping her up. So basically, we're off to a bad start and we haven't even left the house. Your turn. Go for it. Okay. Caesar asks Marianne to walk her overly excited dog Bear past one of her biggest triggers, the neighbor's barking German Shepherd. Bear. That movement here, every time she does this, look, yeah. every time she does this, yeah. she actually invites to this. Yeah. I see it. Everything about how Marianne is walking is feeding into Bear's excitement. I need to show her how her energy is actually influencing how her dog behaves. This is what you are doing. So, how do I look? Tense. That's right. Very tense. So, I provide tension calm, assertive, I provide leadership, regulate excitement. What does that represent? It means nothing. Right. Same dog, different state of mind. The only thing is different is the energy. Right. Here we go. I know Caesar wants me to relax, but I've never been able to walk by this fence with Bear without her lunging and barking and pulling, so I can't help but be nervous. See, see that? There you go. Nice. So as soon as you change the handler, the brain changes. Right? Right. I never in a million years thought I'd be able to walk bare by this German Shepherd. And it's just unbelievable. You have developed a very tense habit. And the more she goes through uh, challenges, the more she understands the process. And you get to practice your technique. This was just a baby step for Marianne, but I think she can see the difference in Bear when her energy is right. Now I want them to come into my place so I can see what Bear's energy is like when I put her around other animals. The next day, Marianne and Bear join Caesar at the Dog Psychology Center. Wow, this place is amazing. Caesar invited us to come to his ranch, and I am beyond excited. Oh, look at Bear, look at, there's a llama. Look at Bear, Bear, look at the llama. What is that? Wow, there's Caesar. There's Caesar. Look, there's Caesar. Good morning. 
morning. How are you? I think she's really interested in the llama. Yeah, which is bad. Oh. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. Bad. Well, we're going to fix it. Come on okay. out. Okay. Great. When Mary Ann pulled out with Bear, uh, I saw many, many red flags. Bear was already excited. Lorenzo was very close, so it was going to be a disaster right from the start. Okay, okay. So what do you think that started? In the car. Yeah. When I said, look at the llama. What she really is at that time is an excited dog. So we, the human, the owner, have to learn, okay, I have to calm the excitement down. Yesterday, Marion and I talked about how controlling a dog's energy starts before you even leave the house. Oh, look at there, look at, there's a llama. But today, Marion forgot everything I told her and heightened Bear's excitement before she left the car. And that can lead to Bear acting out. All right, come on, Jennifer. So now, I'm going to bring Lorenzo in close to see if Marianne can control Bear's excitement. Now you go around a little, a little bit more distance. Short, not the leash. There you go. Do tense. Stay calm. Okay, here. Like this. You still? Sure. This is face to face. That's mm -hmm. safe. So llama can be here. Look how the llama is. Mm -hmm. right? He's more intense than, than she is. So I'm already in control of the situation. She has no say so in how to deal with it, just how to be in it. When Marianne walked bare around Lorenzo, she was still nervous that something bad would happen. If we want Bear to improve, she's going to need to overcome that fear. Your turn. And to do that, I'm gonna have her walk both animals together. There you go. Go that way and then come back. Don't hesitate, because you can feel it. Turn around, make a U-turn. Nice. Very good, that was a good U-turn. See, one stops and the other one moves. It only makes sense. Yeah, you control the excitement. There you go, now you got it. You, you felt it? I felt it. Yeah, that little switch. Yep. So you felt the excitement, you control it, and then you arrive to calmness. I could really feel the difference in Bear's energy when I relaxed. And if I can do that while walking a llama, the future's looking pretty bright. Your biggest problem is excitement. So we, we got to really work on how to keep the excitement at a low level and at one point to remove the excitement and tell them when to become excited. Marianne did a good job walking Bear and Lorenzo and I hope she gained more confidence. These are lessons she can apply while walking around dogs, which is something that she does every day. So the next time we meet, that's what I want to work on. A week later, Caesar meets Marianne and Bear for a hike in the Sierra Madre foothills. Okay, we are in Dogtown again, and this is the trail that Miss Marianne wants to be walking there. Now we are going to put her to the test. We have some dogs that we place in the trail. And my goal is to see if Miss Marianne can assess and evaluate the situation and control with a correction, redirection, or simply distance. Marianne. See there. This is really good. I mean, this. let's acknowledge that. No pulling. No pulling. Still a little iffy around yeah. other dogs. Practice. But we're practicing. Yeah. So your job is just to keep the excitement low and not anticipate that something bad is going to happen. Okay. Mount Wilson Trail is a trail that I haven't been able to go on since I've had Bear. And today, Caesar wanted me to tackle that trail with Bear coming across a bunch of different dogs. So we'll have to see how it goes. So here we have a... Coming up, back at Yolanda's house, 
Can Izzy and Grandma find peace at home? I'm afraid to walk in. Izzy scared me. Caesar asks Marianne to take Bear on a hike through the Sierra Madre trails past other dogs. Different in the energy. Right. See, that's why a lot of people say, with some dogs, she's good. When some dogs, she's really bad. It's because those dogs are carrying a certain energy. If Marianne can gauge the energy and intensity of other dogs, she'll know how much control she'll need to keep Bear calm while passing them. And she'll be more aware of her own energy. Okay, see that little? It's little. lowering the head. Yeah. That can be two things. Submissive state, or that can also be in playful state. That was really good. That was good. So here you have a more excited brain, uh -huh. a little hot. Yep. See the tension on the leash? Yep. Another good one. Marion is doing much better in assessing the energy of the other dogs. But we've been on a very wide path, so she's been using distance to help her. Now I want to make things a little harder. This is getting narrow and narrow. This is actually the, the most challenging part. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. The further we're walking on the trail and going by the different dogs, the easier it's working out. That was, that was good. really good. That was really good. And I can't believe it. For me, a calm dog is a happy dog. You can take it everywhere. Ooh. Excited dogs is very limited. And I want her to have this trail because it's part of Sierra Madre. Yeah. Marion is finally getting that in order to keep Bear calm, she needs to become a leader. Now, I think she's ready for the next step. It's going to be a dog show in a week, and I want you to be part of it. You just really need to practice the fundamentals that I have taught you about uh, energy and reading a dog. You're ready. Okay. I'm feeling really good about how Bear is responding to her new routine, but it's one thing to be up on the trail with five dogs. Okay, let's go. And it's another thing to be in town with a bunch of people and a bunch of dogs all in one spot at one time. The following week, Caesar heads to the center of Sierra Madre, also known as Dogtown USA, as the dog show gets underway. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Dogtown, Sierra Madre, USA. We're going to start off with dog tricks. Canada girls. Big hand for Roxy. I am very excited today. I am back in Dogtown. The city is having a dog show, and Marianne and Bear are going to practice everything I taught them. And now we give a big Dogtown welcome to Caesar Milan. Thank you. Welcome, Caesar. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. I am here because one of your members of your community had a what people are called dog reactive. Some people call it dog aggressive. Well, as you know, that is my expertise to train humans and rehabilitate dogs. They isolated themselves because they feel embarrassed. They don't feel that they fit in this beautiful, harmonious, balanced state of mind. So, my job is to bring it back because you guys already have this amazing community. My heart is racing right now. I still haven't walked through town with Bear, and I have no idea if I'm going to be able to walk her past all these dogs without an incident. What do you say, Dogtown? <laughs> Welcome back, Bear and Marianne. Come on, Marianne! Okay, Bear. Take it calm and assertive, Marianne. 
This is the final step for Marianne. There are dogs everywhere, so she needs to walk very confidently past all of them. Not only for herself, but for her entire community. Leave it. Watch out behind you. Yeah. Woohoo! There you go. Proud. Beautiful. Yeah, look at bear. Sniffy like a regular doggy. Good. All these dogs. Beautiful. Look at her. That's your son, right? Son George? Yeah, hey Georgie. Hi. Come on out. So what do you learn from the experience? You want me to hold it in the meantime? Sure. Yeah, there you go. What Caesar taught me through this whole experience is how a dog truly feeds off of your personal energy. Yeah. And you need to present yourself with the confidence to be able to transfer that confident feeling to your dog. So I know it's a work in progress, and I hope that we can be able to come into town, sit in town and have a cup of coffee, and just a more calm bear, which means a more calm mom. That's <laughs> Dog mom. When I first met Caesar, I thought there's no way, even with Caesar's help, that I was gonna be able to have a dog that was well behaved while I was walking and not pulling me and not lunging at other dogs. And compared to now, it's such an amazing change and I just can't wait to continue the journey. What do you think, Dog Tom? It's good to have Marianne and Bear back. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, take it away. This is a story about a woman who alienated herself from this beautiful dog town community because her dog was dog reactive. But now that Marianne understands how her energy affects Bear and she has proper walking technique, she and Bear can enjoy dog town together. Caesar returns to Yolanda's house to address her most pressing concern, Izzy's aggression in the hallway. Well, we're back to Yolanda's house, even though Dodger is actually an instigator. Izzy is the dog I came here for. We're going to bring Grandma to the bedroom so Yolanda can control Izzy. we got a lot of work to do, but today we're going to accomplish a lot. On Caesar's first visit... Yolanda's dog Izzy was extremely aggressive and territorial over her room and hallway. I was able to show Yolanda how to correct Izzy's behavior using a sleep leash. But for her last exercise, I want her to do it without the leash, using only her energy. If she can accomplish this, she's well on her way to getting the dog they all want. Stay. This is the ultimate test. We just have to turn things around. Ready? Hi. Let's do this. It's really good, right? Yeah. This is good. Oh, this is good. Coming in, guys. Really good. I I'm like the I'm hands on your waist. That's Better than... Yeah. Yeah, holding. Good. Last time we were here, my crew couldn't even take a step forward without easy snapping at them. Now, almost everyone is in the room. It's a total transformation. This is incredible. This is incredible yes. that she has trusted me to the point that she wants to play with me. Yes. This is an imprint right here. Okay. Go ahead and give her affection. So now you're saying all of this it's, means this. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, uh, there's nothing to protect. Today was night and day since we first started this process. Izzy didn't show any signs of regression. I can't even believe I've been saying this, but I was amazed. It looks like it's nothing, but it's a lot. Yes, a good girl. <laughs> We've made amazing progress. 
but this isn't finished until Yolanda's grandmother feels comfortable in her own home again. So this is important. I'm afraid to walk in. It says, get me. <laughs> she's, she's probably ter yeah, terrified right now. Normally, you're very chatty and, you know, really talkative. And this is the first time I see you tense. Good, that was a good move. Ah, oh, there you go. This is good, right? Yeah, very yeah. good. That was exactly what I wanted to see. All Yolanda had to do was to make a tiny gesture to correct Easy. Neither Easy or Dodger reacted, and Grandma is finally able to enter the room. You enjoying this? She's calm. She's watching. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you redirect Grandma and you tell him to tell your story, she's gonna be fine. I do feel much safer now because I know Yolanda is putting a lot of effort in to help Easy, and I feel that everything's going to be okay now. <laughs> this is great. What do you think? What do you think about all this? It's like a real novella. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh... <laughs> I gained so much from working with Caesar. Caesar has taught me to be calm, relaxed, and if I am, then Izzy will be calm and relaxed. I used to have a really hostile hall monitor, but now Izzy's letting everybody in without a hall pass. Thank you for your hospitality you. again. You're welcome. This could have been a tough case, but because Yolanda stepped up and showed confident leadership, Easy can retire her whole monitor badge and Grandma can have her house back. Viewers should consult a professional before adopting any of the training techniques in this program. Any activity you do with your dog is at your own risk and may produce varied results. <laughs> Tonight on Caesar 911. This is a true 911 call. A Greyhound lab mix whose constant barking and unpredictable aggression disturb this grandma's peaceful home. She drives me crazy. If Izzy really bit someone, I'm afraid she'd have to be put down. I just don't know what I would do for it. Is this dog to blame? Or is the other dog in the house the secret instigator? You are the worst, Dodger. You're not scaring Grandma, but he's scaring the whole entire world. And then, a dog-friendly community. It's known as Dogtown, USA. With one outcast dog. Has she ever been anybody? Yes, the dog has been a couple of neighbor dogs. Can Caesar help this German Shepherd join the fun? Welcome to Dogtown. My heart is racing, and I have no idea if I'm going to be able to walk her past all these dogs. Caesar 911. I got a call from a family who are living like prisoners in their own home. Their dog is running the house. This is a true 911 call. Good morning. Hello. Buenos dias. <laughs> Aurora. Sí, Aurora. Nice to meet you, Genevieve. Genevieve, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, how can I help you, ladies? Well, we have a problem, problem with this. But normally that's when people call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My cousin Yolanda's dog, Izzy, becomes very aggressive every time you come near Yolanda's bedroom. <laughs> Her teeth will, you know, go up really aggressive and come at you. It's scary because I don't know if she's going to jump at me or not. And it's, it's creepy. <laughs> Even though we had dogs here, the other dogs didn't bark. It, it, Izzy, that's all she does. She drives me crazy with that barking. Especially when I'm trying to watch my soaps at night, the uh, telenovelas, and I can't hear. She'll run around the table, and then she'll run to this door, 
I have never, ever come across a dog like her. Yolanda and I used to be close. I used to hang out with her all the time. But after she got Izzy, I kind of immediately stopped coming over. She was so aggressive. I, I don't feel comfortable having people come over. Because if she has never seen them or doesn't know them, mm -hmm. she'll go at them. More suspicious. If you open the door, she'll come out and... and bite you. And bite you and say, you know, get out of here. you? She did once. <laughs> I'm scared for my aunt. She's getting elderly, and if she gets bitten again, it's pretty scary to think about. Recently, Izzy bit me also. I came over just to visit, and Izzy said hello to me, like nothing, like, oh, hi, Izzy, you know, and then she just snapped. When she started to walk towards the back by Yoli's room, that's when she came out and bitter <laughs> horribly it really scared me because yeah. she was just fine with me a second ago izzy's always barked at me and always been aggressive but she's never snapped at me and when she did it was like whoa so once you go by yolanda's bedroom or once you go towards that way in general the dog just gets aggressive and yeah, it's scary it, it's scary how long have you been living with this problem? Three or four years. Huh. She'll stay home with Izzy because she can't take Izzy out. If she takes Izzy to the dog park, she'll attack all the other dogs. Because Yolanda loves Izzy so much. Like, like, too much. That's her child. So to just think that she's having this issue, it's like it's really changing Yolanda. It really is. Yeah. And it, it, you can sense that she has some like a way to our children. Yeah, for sure. I'm hoping Caesar can help Izzy in any way that he can. Izzy's basically a part of our family. She's my cousin's dog. That's my cousin's baby. You know, they're like our kids. But if Izzy really bit someone really aggressive, I'm afraid she'd have to be put down. I just don't know what I would do for it. <laughs> So where can we see this dog? Uh, Yolanda's in the room right now, then, you know, I go by and... I will. Okay, and... Uh, is that okay I, for, for sure, you? Sure, fine. Should I give you a blessing? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm staying I'm staying to see you making kind of... I'm going to practice my Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Get, get way of saying, Joe, Yolanda, I'm here. This is Caesar. Yolanda! Yeah. This is Caesar, Caesar Milan. Oh my goodness. Come on to play. I, Just open the door. I want to see what's 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 the you, deal with this. Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Yolanda and I have a seven-year-old black lab greyhound mix named Izzy who attacks anybody who comes near my room. She wasn't always like this. When I first got her, she was cute, playful, and she just captured my heart. When no one else is around, Izzy adores me. She loves me, she gives me kisses, and she'll go up to me and nudge my arm, and she's like my child. And I love her so much. Having dogs in my life makes me happy because I just love when I get home and they're just wagging their tail, they're so excited to see me. I could get mad at them and 10 minutes later they've forgotten about it and they love me just as much. It's just kind of better than a human. The aggression with Izzy started right after I got my second dog, Dodger. He's a Dotson, and that was about four years ago. When I introduced Dodger to Izzy, they got along right away. She didn't show any aggression. But then, after a couple months, I noticed that anybody that entered into my hallway, which leads to my room, she would attack. <laughs> She would charge out of my room if she heard anything, and she would just start barking. 
Izzy is like an evil hall monitor. If you don't have a hall pass to go get through the hallway, then she's not going to let you get in. She's going to attack you and let you know about it. I live with my grandmother. This is my grandmother's house. Izzy's creating a very on edge, fearful life. She's already charged at my grandmother a couple of times and she's not happy with it and I'm not happy with it. She won't come in my room. Whatever she needs to tell me, she'll tell me at the doorway. She has to be real cautious when she walks through the hallway and I don't want her feeling like that in her own house. I am desperate for Caesar to help Izzy because I feel like it's gone too far. It's lasted too long. I wouldn't even know where to begin to fix Izzy's aggression. I do feel I'm one bite away from serious decision making. And uh, if that time ever comes, which I hope it doesn't, I don't know what I'll, what to do. So that's the girl, right? Yes, this is Izzy. Easy. How are you how are you feeling right now? I'm nervous. And why? Because usually when anybody tries to approach, she will charge after them right. to like ferociously attack them. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. That's when you stop it right there. Nope. No. This dog is so terrified. This is a classic thing when it, when you hear a dog barking, but it's not gonna bite unless you run. As long as I behave calm or I just stay in my grounds, uh, nobody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> now face me, see, like, like we're about to dance, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. So that means you're welcoming me, mm -hmm. right? There mm -hmm. you go. By using more confident body language, Yolanda can send a message to Easy. That there is no reason to worry about a guest or a family member coming into the bedroom. So we broke it down, mm -hmm. phase one, distance. Okay. Hey, Yolanda, mm -hmm. you know, my rocky one. <laughs> and then came forward, right? Uh -huh. Then let her know that that growl towards me, unnecessary. Not afraid of. Right. But, but unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. So then you went from this, that's much more sassy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Versus this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everything counts, everything matters. However you're behaving, however you are thinking, mm -hmm. she's insecure. So she's insecure and you are fearful. So you are deeper into the hole. How is she now? She, like, Oh, look at the eyes. Because you haven't put any attention to it, you put any attention to me, mm -hmm. so I'm redirecting. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm like completely like telling you to forget about it without telling you to forget about it. Right. So you're becoming interested about our conversation. Mm -hmm. When you focus too much on a dog like Easy, she's gonna get more anxious. But changing that focus to me, send the message, everything's okay. You don't need to be on guard. Now I want to see if Yolanda and Easy can stay calm when someone else comes in. Do you guys want to come in? Yeah, come in. Bring the camera a little closer. Caesar is working with an insecure territorial dog named Izzy. Hey, bring the camera a little closer. As he asks his cameraman to enter Izzy's personal space, she attacks. Hey. So here. You go. Come on. Hey. Don't let him come into your space. So go to her? That's right. You move into it. Hey, block her. Hey, come on. And so you say, these people are my friends, so what I want you to do is give me space and deal with them. When strangers approach, Yolanda's energy and body language needs to show her dog that everything is okay, don't be afraid. 
I'm going to teach Yolanda how to use a simple slip leash to snap easy out of that insecure mindset and prevent her from attacking. Now let's do the, the camera again. The, the same. Hey, we're gonna stop her. Let's do it again. Hey, she, she's backing down. You see it? Mm -hmm. Go around. Yeah. This way. She's yeah. She's hiding behind you. So now I can give, so you can see it. No tension, short, not tense. There you go. See it? Mm -hmm. By correcting with the leash, the moment Easy starts to attack, I'm snapping her mind out of her territorial state. I'm also staying calm, which tells Easy there is nothing to fear. Yolanda needs to learn to do both of these things. So right now you're saying things that come into you, mm -hmm. if I'm allowing it, they're not going to hurt you. Okay. So what you're saying, trust my leadership. So that means a dog can move on. Right. All right, ready to do this? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. Slowly, slow, slow. There you go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Then you bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. There, that's right. Do it again. That's it. Nice. That's really good. Bring it back. Nice. So now the next step is that eventually you don't need the leash. It's just a voice, your energy, or your body language. Now you're going to put it on the bed. <laughs> now I'm going to have Yolanda use this technique to control easy when people knock on her bedroom door and walk in. Be comfortable, but be in control, not hyper alert, but just aware. Okay. There you go. Settle down. Hey. Sit. There you go. Relax. There you go. Relax. Yeah, yeah, you get stuck. You get yes. stuck. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. That's right. You see how quickly easy calm down as soon as Yolanda relaxed. I won't always be there to remind her. So she just needs to keep working on that. All right. <laughs> you did great. You did great. Today I learned a lot. Caesar gave me hope, but I know we're far.